viewers and parents welcome to my channel e preschooler i am mita today i am going to speak about basic learner skills basic learner skills are not only help the child in the refinement of his senses but also help the child in developing fine motor skills and gross motor skills as a parent you should educate yourself about what is basic learner skill as a whole then only you can choose a part of it and you can introduce the activity to your child educating yourself means i'm not saying you have to read a lot of books or you have to do some training thanks to the social media that we are having access of lot of information easily nowadays so educating yourself means you have to gather knowledge about the whole concept of basic learner skill first then you can choose a part of it and you can introduce to your child so for that you should know complete picture of what is basic learner skills and how is it going to help your child so before you choose any activities or before you are planning to implement any basic learner skill activities you should have answer a few questions before you are planning to implement any activity for your child you should have answer of all these questions like what is the activity which area of basic learner skills is it going to address why it is important in general how it is going to help your child as each child has different needs no common formula fits all so you should know how it is going to be helpful for your child the last question is where you can present the activity to the child here i am not telling about the age what i am speaking about the level like you should know before doing that activity what are those milestone your child need to achieve that is the level of that activity so before you are planning of implementing any basic learner skill activity you should have the answer of all these questions if you have the answer of all these question before you plan to implement any activity for your child then you have a different level of trust and confidence in you and with the activity which will surely going to reflect on your child so let's talk about visual perception skills which is one among the basic learner skills visual perception activities can help a child to make sense of the information the eyes are sending to the brain so therefore having good visual perception skill will help the child not only in his academic performance like writing reading mathematical problem but also to help the child in his daily activity like dressing eating and also in the play time visual perception is our ability to process and organize visual information from the environment this requires the integration of all of the body's sensory experiences including sight sound touch smell balance and movement most children are able to integrate these senses by the time they start school This is important because approximately 75% of all classroom learning is visual. Symptoms of poor visual perception skills are difficulty copying information from the board or a book, struggles to copy words or a drawing accurately, loses place or skips words when reading, quality of written work is poor. despite adequate fine motor skills lack of retention of written materials or visual teaching aid does not see the difference between similar numbers like 6 and 9 or similar letters like b d p q etc very poor reader struggles to remember sight words or identify letters in order to blend clumsiness bumping into things inability to catch a ball or find any particular object problem solving difficulties etc there are many areas of visual perception activities which are going to be helpful for your child sometimes teachers and professional differ in the terms they use to describe various visual perceptual task so let's discuss about various visual perception skills the first skill is visual discrimination skill Visual discrimination skill is the ability to determine differences or similarities in object based on size, color, shape, etc. You can use matching or sorting activities for visual discrimination skill. 
The second skill is visual memory. Visual memory is the ability to recall visual traits in particular form or in object. You can use tracing activities for visual memory. The third visual perception skill is visual spatial relationship. Visual spatial relationship skill is the skill to understand the relation of the object in an environment. Like associating any object to the environment. The fourth skill is visual sequential memory. Visual sequential memory skill is the ability to recall a sequence of objects in the correct order or seriation. Like seriation activity or sequence activity. The ability which help the child to know to write the alphabet or the number in sequence. The fifth visual perception skill is visual form constancy. Visual form constancy skill is the ability to know that a form or shape, a letter or number is the same even if it is written in small form or in larger form. So the activity you can use to improve this skill is grading activities. Next skill is visual closure skill. Visual closure skill is the ability to recognize a form or object when a part of the picture is missing. You can use matching activity to improve this skill. The last visual perception skill is visual figure ground skill. Visual figure ground is the ability to perceive a form or find it in a hidden form. For example, you can use hidden picture activities to improve visual figure ground skill. So this is all about the types of visual perception skill. In my next video, I will show you a few activities related to each visual perception skills. So if you like this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe my channel and keep watching me for more videos like this.